Okay, so for this video, I'm going to show you how to go about and make your first money post, meaning the post that's going to have your affiliate link, which is going to send people to your offer, which is how you're going to make money. So you need to log into your WordPress administration section, same way you logged in to set up the site, make it more search engine friendly, and also to add your themes and plugins and all that. So you need to just log into the dashboard. This time you want to select post on the left hand side, and you're just going to take out this first post called Hello World. Just go ahead and hit delete. And then the next thing you want to do is go to add new post and then add new after you've deleted that. Now as far as your new post goes, it's best that you title your post the main keyword phrase you're trying to go after. So for this example, let's just say Oakley gas can sunglasses. And you could put on sale or for sale whatever you want to do to that I usually just you know put in the name of the product there now right here where it says text this is great because this is just basic you know like typing this is just like typing into a word document and email very very easy for you if you're especially if you're brand new uh, but many of you probably know already how to use WordPress so you're just gonna create a short post that kinda you know highlights the product that you are out there actually promoting so to come up with some ideas for your post I like to go visit the product itself and actually just you know kind of look at the product and work up kind of a short little post and we're talking like two or three sentences for this example does not need to be overly huge just enough to get you know enough to be interesting but enough to get people you know just because the main goal here is to get them to click on that link and go right to your offer and typically when they're looking for a product specific thing they don't need much prompting from you because when they're typing in, you know, Oakley gas can sunglasses, there's a really good chance they've already researched that product, for example, and they know that's the kind of sunglasses they want. You know, so if they're, they're typing in Oakley men's gas can polarized sunglasses for that product, for example, they know exactly what they want. And, you know, for this example here, I'm promoting a variety of Oakley. There's several Oakley gas can sunglasses. So for this post, you would probably, you would use like kind of like what that is if that was your example. You know, if it was like Xbox 360 video games, for example, every single one of your posts would be a different video game, you know, as an example, if they're different categories. Otherwise, if it's like the Nintendo Wii unit and that's all your site's about, then that would be what your first post is about. So that's what I'm going to use here for this first one is just kind of, you know, just for an example, Oakley men's gas can polarized sunglasses. And you could just plug that in there. up there sure 
After you've set up your website and made your first post, it's now time to promote your offer. And to do that, you're going to use social bookmarking. Social bookmarking is where basically you tell other websites, other people out there about your website. It's kind of a social interaction. But what's very beneficial about social bookmarking is that your social bookmarking pages themselves, like the dig.com post you do, mix.com, the different posts that you do, oftentimes can rank highly in the search engines. So this is a great way to kickstart your campaign. Also, it can benefit you from some of the social bookmarking sites because they will help give you a backlink to your website which can help make sure your website gets indexed and gets found within the search engines. Now you've already set up your website so it's search engine friendly and also if you purchase your domain you know correctly and also since you're using WordPress for this example your site typically will get indexed by Google you know within about a week or so but this bookmarking will help expedite that process speed it up and it's also going to help you possibly get some more exposure which in turn leads to more traffic over the course um, that this is out there so let's just jump right in here what you're gonna do is the two main sites I recommend you go to first is dig.com dig.com now even though dig.com doesn't necessarily send a direct you know link to your site that may be found by the search engines the pages on dig.com still stand out very very well so when it's your first time to dig.com just go to join dig right here join dig at the top and then put in your username and password and your other basic information otherwise if you're brand new you can just or if you already have an account you can just log in so I'm just gonna log into an account here that I have Now what you're going to do is go up here to the top and click on submit new. Once you do that, it's going to say enter the URL. So you want to grab the link to your site that you're promoting. Now you're going to select news article since it's just your main website. Go ahead and hit continue. After that, it's going to give you a title possibly. Typically, it will pull from the title that you already have for your site. So in this case, that's the correct one because that's the product title. So your specific, when you're doing your dig, would be the product keyword phrase that you're going after for this example. Now what you're going to do is come right down here and choose the best category. So I'm just going to choose the best category. So let's just look through here real quick. This one, probably people or odd stuff, that'd probably be a good category. And then you'll scroll all the way down here and where it says, are you human? Just go ahead and put in this data. And then hit submit story. And once it's submitted, you should see a page that looks just like this. Now this page on dig.com that you're looking at right here can get indexed in the search engines. And if you were to click right here, it should take people right on through to your mini website that you are establishing and setting up for this particular example. So there you have it. That does work. That takes people right to the site. So now we'll go right on over to mix.com. Mix.com is very, very good because it also can help you get a backlink and more exposure. And their pages also rank well within Google. So just go to mix.com. Choose sign up for this example. Once you selected sign up, you're just going to put in your email, your password, basic information again, and then register. Once you have your account, just click on login. And what I'm going to do here is just log in here. And I'll take just a moment. So what you're going to do is go right up here and choose submit link. You're going to look for something that says submit story, submit link, submit content. All of them will say something similar. So for page URL, you want to grab the link of your website again. So let's just put that in here. And then choose just story and hit continue. 
Now what you're going to do for title is just make sure that's correct. That should begin be your product specific keyword phrase. And for the description, just you know use a nice descriptive text there. And I'm going to choose, let's see here, probably fun category if they have shopping. Nope. Let's see, life. Let's just look for the best category here. So you, so you just want to narrow down the best category possible that you're trying to look for. Probably go under fun would be a good topic. Fun and then possibly odd news. And then as far as tags describing your story, I'd recommend you use tags related to your product. So Oakley sunglasses, gas can sunglasses. So all the products, you know, Nintendo Wii, Nintendo Wii Fit, Wii Fit, Wii, all those kind of keywords if that was the product you're going after Xbox 360 you get the idea but you want to go after these product specific keyword phrases now simply hit submit and you're almost done here and actually this will be the page where it's actually going to be completed so it'll take just a moment it gives you 15 minutes to go back in about and re change this and edit it if you want so I recommend you click on that just to make sure your link is working and it appears to be so everything looks good there so we can go on to the next one so that's mix.com for you so now we'll go on to another set of websites that you can leverage I recommend here that you go to socialmarker.com socialmarker.com and you're gonna see on socialmarker.com a whole list of social bookmarking websites now what I would do if I were you is just choose like best option and then go ahead and just submit to these top social bookmarking websites that show up and then after you've submitted to them these are the more popular ones go ahead and choose do follow because those will be search engine friendly so they'll help build a backlink and then go ahead and submit to those like mr dash wong that's a great one and to get to those sites you just click on that little logo any of their logos it will take you right into their websites set up the accounts just like I showed you and then you submit the links just like I showed you just make sure the keywords is your product specific very product specific it's extremely important that you do that and that's what really what the focus is and that's going to help you generate more exposure more backlinks and possibly get your site ranked higher and indexed in the search engine so you can start getting more traffic for the system and start making money so we'll go on to another promotional strategy that you can start using right away as well in this next video I'm going to show you another promotional strategy to start getting more traffic to this website once you set it up so what you're going to do is write a press release. I really like using press releases to get fast traffic, especially when you've just launched a website. So what I'm going to do is lay out the strategy and system that I use to submit and write a press release actually. You're going to notice here the name product that I'm promoting is the Oakley Gas Can Sunglasses, as you know. So you want to write a press release talking about a review site that you've just launched or something about the website that you just launched. So for example, you want to make sure you title the press release. Your press release needs a title, as you can see right here. And this template is going to be available to you, so you'll actually be able to actually read it and actually see how I structured things, how I worded things, and where I placed you know, different things. So what I would recommend you do, you want a good keyword rich title for your, you know, for your press release. And then you want to put in your business name and kind of put in what you do, which is an internet marketing company based out of, and then like your state or your country. Um, then do something, you know, that you've announced that you're launching a new review website that features, and then you could put the name of the product in here. And then you could actually set a link to your website. And then put a quote in here, you know, so basically a quote from you as a person. So there's my quote. The goal of this website is to give interested customers a convenience. And then I go on to detail. Um, and then also it's very important, if you, especially if you're going after something you know, like a product related, that you try to at least say that you're not affiliated with the main company, that um, I'm no lawyer. Um, but that may end up, you know, that'll help basically if they end up seeing that. So you don't want anybody to think that, you know, you're part of that company because you're just an affiliate, obviously. So you want to make sure you're upfront about that stuff. Um, you can put in just some other details of the product. Like I chose to put in, you know, the price range. I could have put in, you know, like how many products are in the, in the Oakley gas can sunglasses line. I followed up with a few more quotes 
and then also um, you know put in another detail like the items could be shipped for free you know just because that's the affiliate program especially if you're with Amazon most of the items within Amazon can be shipped for free if they're over I think it's $35 um, up to $50 it's usually ships for free so that would be another incentive to make sure you tell people about in your offers and then at the end just make sure that you close it out with the actual link so once you've structured this press release again this will be available for you in Word document format so you can actually understand the process what you want to do then is actually take this press release and you want to copy it so copy all the information to a notepad file so just grab it copy it to a notepad file so that's what I'm gonna do here then you want to choose format word wrap you want to make word wrap on the next thing you want to do is just go through here and actually just once word wrap is on every single one of these lines you just want to understand that this is going to be a new paragraph so you want to make sure that you have this down because this is important because it's going to help you as you do this next process which is to submit your press release so make sure that you have your title as well laid out and it's also important that you have a summary ready to go as well which I'll show you how to write that so you have the title of your press release you want to have a summary basically the summary would just talk about what your offer is so um, a new review website is launching for the Oakley gas can sunglasses line so basically you could just insert that with your own product and keyword phrases then keywords would be keywords related to the products would be the product manufacturer uh, maybe the product line name maybe the product itself so those would be kind of keyword ideas and sometimes they're called tags within these sites as well so what you need to do next is go right on over to um, go actually go right on over to a site called free dash press dash release dot com just like you see on your screen free dash will go in there press dash release.com when you first go there you're just gonna click on register and once you've registered just put in your username password and then your email address so what you want to do next is come right over here and you want to click on login after you've registered so go ahead and just log in here which is what we're gonna do for this example what you do next is go ahead and click submit a press release and then there's several options here you could choose a premier press release this is one that I highly recommend because it's for one dollar you can actually get a backlink to your site which will really help you and help increase click-throughs because what I found is that free you know this free press release site free dash press dash release dot com actually shows up quite well within the search engines for your main keyword phrase oftentimes most of the time so I highly recommend you try to at least get a link when you first are doing this though you can do the free option because you'll at least get ranked and then you could actually decide if you see your press release rank to upgrade for the dollar um, but I usually do that when you first do it though you need to be willing and ready to invest twenty dollars I think I believe it is now to fund your accounts so you just need to make sure that that will happen when you first do it but then you know obviously you're going to be creating probably tons of these sites so it's going to be completely up to you but um, if that's going to bother you just go with the free option because it can also give you some exposure so go ahead and just click next now what you want to do is put in your unique title here so I'm going to just pull up this notepad file we have so this is my title make sure again that you have your main keyword phrase which is your product name in the title then you've got a summary here they're asking for and this is why I like to write it out because it just makes this process much much smoother oops that was not good so let's go back and log back in here do you want to log in and click submit press release and then choose the option so premier press release and then click on next okay and then put in your title so I'm putting in my summary here and then we're gonna grab the title and again this is why it's good to put it into like a text-based file and then for the news body this is where the body of your press release goes make sure word wrap is still set to off you can do that by going to format and word wrap I'm doing this within notepad um, many computers have a text editor of some sort whether it's an Apple or a PC then you can just paste that in there the next thing you want to do it'll ask you to read the numbers so go ahead and do that and then as far as your tags go just click on that arrow 
and then copy and paste your main keyword tag. So notice how easy that was because I'd previously put those in. So you're just going to paste that. Now if you selected the paid option, it's going to ask for your website. So you're going to want to make sure you put in your website because it's going to give you a link. And then you could attach an image if you wanted to, you don't have to. Industry, this would be best to kind of choose the industry this will go in. Um, oftentimes for these examples, it would go under probably lifestyle and shopping of some sort. That's where they have it. They may or may not have that. So you just want to pick the very best category for this particular item. So we'll just scroll through here and look for the best one. Uh, sometimes industry is good. So we'll just go under industry and then let's see apparel because it does go on your face and then go ahead and choose contact and just put in your main contact details and then for your website you're just going to go ahead and just plug that you don't have to plug in your website again but you could if you wanted to you can put your address um, or just put in like your phone number for people to get you whichever one you want to do and then go ahead and come right down here and choose submit and it'll ask if you're going to be charged if you're doing the free option obviously it will not ask what I like best about these guys is as soon as you submit it you get instant gratification because your press release goes live just like with the social bookmarking as well this is why I like it for a fast traffic method and there you have a perfectly optimized press release with your main keyword phrases there's a backlink right down there that takes them right in into your website it's always good to test that link to make sure that is indeed working and it looks like it is so that's excellent so now you can go on to the next step which is to go to another free press release site that I love to use called prlog.org prlog.org so let's just go over here prlog.org and again when you first get here just set up an account um, you just go to submit press release and then it's going to basically ask you to create a PR account and just go through the basic details there so I'm going to log in because I am an existing user. This part will take just a moment. Choose add new. Now what I'm going to do here is insert my press release headline one more time. So I'll just show you that process again. It's just highlighting this and then copying and pasting it. You can hit control C or you could right click and choose copy whichever option you like. So you're just going to paste that in there grab your summary this is why it's so important that you pre-write your summary and your title and your keyword just because it makes life so much easier as you're going through this process put in the press release body here then scroll on down and choose your best category so all the categories will be different this one is going to be shopping make sure you select add and then maybe you could select you know fashion for example and you could put the name of your company or like your website is another example Oakley gas can sunglasses dot com put in your contact email and then come right down here to where it says tags or keywords this is where you're gonna plug that in here Then you could put in a company profile if you wanted to. And and then you could choose an image. You can just browse if it's, you know, reasonable. Obviously you don't want to use a copyrighted image image, so usually you can just skip that. Make sure as soon as possible is checked and all these optional categories you could put in so you don't need to and then go ahead and choose go to final step okay so this step is optional so let's just skip that 
and you can just to, for you know speed sake just speed that up and just skip the optional steps now this will tell you see how you like the press release basically um, if your links are not live like my links were not live here you could go back in and modify that press release to make sure they are live so let's just do that so I'll scroll back down here and you can make them live by putting HTTP in front of them usually and that will be enough to get your links live so then choose go to final step and notice now my links are live which is what you want because that's going to increase your click through and then go all the way down to the very bottom and click on submit and now your press release has been published you can click on view this press release and you'll notice that your press release now shows up and if you were to click on that link it should take people right on over to your website and it looks like it's going to so there's our website so that's all working great so now what you want to do is go right on over to Google and you can type in submit press release free and you can actually find more press release sites that you can submit to. So that's the process for promoting your site with press releases.